on the subject, you know, one or two girls, we pulled the switcheroo one back in the day. Okay. How can yeah, you not? It's it's identical twin, bro. You gotta do it once or twice. You know what I like to say about TikTok? When TikTok, when TikTok sees an unsucked penis, they're the first ones to suck it. They <laughs> love riding dick. Yeah. There'll be ladies just walking on the sidewalk, drop a fucking Cleveland right on the cement. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts with litter boxes in the bathroom? No. Why would that's that, a thing. Come on. You I didn't know about, about that. that? You know about that. No, I don't know about that. What if your kid comes home and says, and says, uh, Jojo, um, I want to be a cat. What do you uh, say to that motherfucker? I mean, what's the, you're not, be, you're not a cat. You're not, you're a fucking person. I'd say meow, bitch. <laughs> Boom! <laughs>
Next thing you know, I'm starting doing my own skits. Then Nikki's involved, and everything just takes off. After so you you were the one that you started first. I started doing the TikToks again first. Okay. So that's but you guys I, were you, so you were saying you were both on Vine first, and then you got stopped, and then you got back into the yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more or less, I did it like that. My pops was involved. Then Nikki started getting involved, and it's made funny because people still don't know we're fucking twins, bro. I was, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. That's crazy. You said that because when I first saw you guys, I was like, f- at first, I thought you guys were doing uh, doing what I was doing was making like multiple accounts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking smart. This kid's making yeah. like multiple accounts. He's getting his shit out. <laughs> And then I, I and then I was like I saw a video with you guys were both in the fucking video. I was like, "Where this guy? This guy's editing skills are pretty phenomenal." <laughs> bro, people still to this, himself. <laughs> to this so people day. still probably think that there's bro. not even two of you. Bro, that airport video we did two days ago. There's at least like 15 comments. Of people, I had no clue. I had no idea. <laughs> there's like, two oh, of them. There's yeah, two bitch. of them. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> like that's how do, how could you edit that? Like it's like if we the different tattoos, the yeah, fucking that's, scars. That's gotta be shit. the only thing separating you two is the tattoos. It's, yeah, the tattoos awesome. and like I probably got what like five ten pounds on you. Yeah, yeah. It's really. It's got not. like half an inch, five ten pounds. It's Wait, really so in in did they like ever like like and how was it with you two in school? Ooh. God, bro. You guys were definitely dicks. Dick. Oh, yeah. We had bro, to, I, I would be the same We way. had to take advantage of it, bro. We were always like the class clowns, but in terms of like the twin shit, so we switched classes, yeah. took like, we took tests for one another. We did it. You have to do it. If you have the opportunity to take advantage of it, you have to do it. Got to do it. That's funny. Big, yo, buddy, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little down on the weather today. You mind taking my, my, uh, my exam for a little bit? Bro, it was fucking so. crazy. And then on top of that, and while we're on the subject, you know, one or two girls, we pulled the switcheroo one back in the day. No how, how can yes, you not? It's an identical twin, bro. You got to do it once or twice. Wow, that's some sorry. shit you see out of a fucking... You did it on, on your chair? No, no, I just looked at it like, I'm sorry. But, uh, no, this was years ago. But, uh, like in, in high school. That's you see out of a movie, bro. You got you yes. to gotta try it once or twice, bro. I mean, it worked like once or twice, so we're like, fuck it, you know? Check oh it off the bucket list as no, a twin. That's fucking hilarious. Wait, so, because they didn't... I don't even think that we were recording what you said, but so you were just out, you said you're in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. What, what, what were you doing out there? You were shooting for a movie or some um, shit? We were actually doing a show. I would love to get into the show. Yeah, we signed the NDA. But we just did it. Oh, we yeah. signed the NDA for it. So I can't really talk about the show. But we were oh. doing a show down there. And we were like filming nonstop. But it was fucking dope. It was our first time actually being on like a real deal production set. So it was, Holy shit. It was sick, bro. It was cool, you know? bro. Yeah, hey, was... but weren't you in... Are, 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 you, are you in any like shows right now or like movies or anything? So no, we've done a, I've done a, both of us done a bunch of short films, mm-hmm. uh, what, what it's Seashells Productions era, Staten Island based company, did a bunch of shorts with them. I did a bunch, I did like eight or 10 stand up shows and I also did a few live shows, like improv shows. And they were cool, bro. It helped me, oh, yeah. you know, helps me get better. So. And we, uh, we actually were working. We did a show. I mean, we did a, uh, a short film in Long Island like five months ago and it's still getting edited. That shit should be out in like a couple of months, I think. That's going to be cool. Bro, you got to get your fucking pops in there, too. Oh, right? he needs oh, to get bro. in ASA, bro. In there, flipping the chicken cutlets <laughs> like this. Golden and brown. And not burning them. Thin and crispy. not burning them. <laughs> that video is hilarious. You were like, I love when you get right into his face and he just stares like this. And he's like, he's like, what do you fucking mean? I'm like, oh, my God. Funny, Staring man. through my soul for the fucking chicken cutlets. Oh, the greatest man. thing. Ever. That's funny. You can't get it, bro. Those old timers, they're different. Wait, so did he... So I guess he... Because he's fucking blowing up kind of... T- I was looking at his cooking videos. Yeah, bro. He'd be oh, chefing, huh? Sunday bro. dinner must be nice with him around. Yeah, bro. bro. You got to come by one day. You got to take the fucking trip. You like a good Sunday sauce. Bro, I've only, been to, I've only been to Staten Island, I think, like one time. And I never even... I just drove through. I'm yeah. like scared of the motherfuckers over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's not bad, bro. XR, you know Cooch, right? Meals yeah, by Cooch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooch is from Staten Island. He's, he's, in, he's over there in Brooklyn now. But, I, bro, he used to live five minutes from me. Like it's, it's bro, funny. everybody's in Staten Island, bro. It's crazy the amount of like famous. Isn't uh? Didn't Wu Tang come out of there yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, Wu Tang, bro. bro. Like, All the Wu Tang, Pete Davidson, obviously, Colin Jost. Oh, yeah, Pete Davidson. I didn't even think of that. Fucking guy. He's, He's fucking hitting sick. him off. But uh, we see Method Man from Wu Tang at the. He goes to our gym, so we see him all the fucking time. He's the coolest guy in the world. That's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah Meth's the best. Staten's bro. like mad tight knit. Cause actually, we even didn't bring this up in high school. We were doing music for a while, like we were rapping and shit. And we had the same engineer as uh, Wu Tang. This guy Anthony Acid is a fucking legend. He was Method Man and Ghostface's engineer. So we would always have like that mutual connect there. And then he moved out to Jersey, and we, we haven't made music in a minute. But eventually, we'll get back to that, too. I'll tell you what, fellas. You're not going to believe this, but I went to the gym at, like, 4.30 this morning, and I listened to Drippin', Drippin' Down. 
Oh wait, I, one of our records, Drip Drop. I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah. I, I heard, I heard, or Drip Drop. Is that what it's called? Drip Drop. Yeah. yeah. That beat, bro. I Crazy. was you know, like this. <laughs> I was four thirty morning. I was, I was fucking doing the saw, dude. That, that's a hard beat. I was like, I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, I, like, uh, like I hate to be a dick and keep my hopes down. I was like, listen, I was like, wow. So bro, are you guys like? You. Is that something that you're trying to like? Yeah, it's a, you, you, bro. First and foremost, thank you for actually yeah. listening. Yeah, that's right. amazing, that bro. I didn't expect lot. that. It means bro. a fucking lot. Right away, I was like, I Duke's a legend for that, bro. <laughs> legend, legend. I'll cut the ass if it, if it's yeah, it's trash, of course. But I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, so we did it. That's all we did. We worked on after high school. We worked on Wall Street and funded our fucking music career for like three years, from like 18, 17, 18 years old. I would say 18 to like 20, 20 two and a half years of strict music, bro, and making no up videos, just music. Uh, no, no content videos at all. Like no videos at all. Yeah. Just yeah, we weren't, music, even, we weren't even thinking about that, and we were literally funding it on our own. And then we got to the point of like mental and fucking physical and financial like breakdown. We were like, yo, we got to take a step back and like recalculate. And then we were going through like odd jobs for like two and a half years. Pandemic hit, started doing the videos, and then now here we are, bro. It's like, and we right, just left yeah, the union crazy. too. Isn't we, it crazy? It's crazy how shit just fucking. Bro. When you're supposed to, like, when you're finally where you're supposed to be is, like, when I feel like God is like, yo, yeah. all right, now I'm going to start handing out a few things to you, and now because your hard work's finally paying off type shit, Yeah, you bro, know? you got to fucking, you just got to branch everything. You Straight know? up, That's bro. just like, like, for, like this. I never knew that I would fucking start a podcast. Like, you know what? Might as well just give it a try. Why not, oh, bro? Yeah, bro? Why not? Are you, are you guys still, are you guys still, well, you guys were in the union, right? We were, yeah. We were until recently, We yeah. left in about June. We left in June, and we've been doing the content and all that full time now. you guys work together? Yeah, uh, yeah, we did at the uh, separate uh, yards, but same company, same title. So, wow, you guys must have, oh my bro, God. yeah, and like it was, it was hard because it's a fucking good job. You know how it is coming from an Italian American family, and we're like, yo, you know, my dad got it. He put us into the job. He put the good word in, and then this just started blowing up. We didn't think it would get this far, yep. and then once we weighed our options out, it was like we kept missing opportunities there, and it's like now we got to take the leap of faith, and it's been yeah. what, like three months now. Almost yeah, like bro, three and a half June, months now. Since yeah. June, so like June fifteenth around. I forgot when we signed the papers around there. And bro, it's like we couldn't be happier waking yeah. up being able to do what we do for the fucking smile on our face. You know what I mean? Bro, people do not fucking realize. I was the same way. I, I just quit my job a month ago. Oh, congrats! Wow. Yeah, I worked awesome awesome, bro. Bro. So I was just like doing, dude, doing labor all day, and then willing to have enough energy, especially with the content that you guys make, which is like, so you guys, you guys, the skits, you guys, uh -huh. your skit skills are fucking. Insane. Thank, Thank you, bro. Man. Like, Thank like you so my much, one man. favorite video is the one where you drop the fucking wallet. <laughs> bro, you're like, that's not my fucking wallet, asshole. I'm like, yo, that is hysterical. Thank you, but bro. Like, but people don't realize that videos like that were skits like that. Like, that shit takes, like, mad effort to actually. And I know that, oh. that you're not doing shit, like, first try. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. So, like, I give you guys all the props in the world. And that, and that shit makes you want to pursue, I feel like, social media a lot more when you're, like, working all day and you realize that it's like you know it's a hard thing to just like dude juggle both 100 percent. Oh and like literally it makes you appreciate it like we had no free time with the job and then squeezing in the content yep. like on my way to work i'm doing a fucking rant video with a bogey in my mouth that i run to the <laughs> yard and then like i gotta post that then i do the job and now it's like with all this free time it's like it makes you really appreciate like yo we could actually do this full time it still doesn't it still doesn't feel no. real like we're still like shocked yeah. about it you know what I'm and saying? i'm sure you know like bro like uh what, uh what job did you do that you that you ended up quitting what job was i was it, it was uh i worked f i did like paving for like driveways and shit oh, oh so it was like, labor I mean, physical fucking oh, Bro, yeah, man. Especially in the summertime, dude, oh, with shit, the asphalt, man. that shit was ass. Bro. And then I would just sit in my car and scream at people for <laughs> fucking two hours. Why? Yeah, you have to. That's the only way you're fucking unwind. But then again, it's like, do you guys ever feel like there were there were there was pros and cons with working and doing the content? Because I, I, I for for me at least, I felt like it kind of helped me. And it would not helped me, but like. Because with this, with you get kind of like, not burnt out, but it kind of gets like, ti it's tiring. Yes. You know, there's days you don't even want to fucking make any content. I mean, yeah, 100%. Sure guys go days it's like, it sucks. Yeah. 100%. But like, do you guys feel like having the job and working for as long as you did while doing the content, like, kind of helped you want to, you know, push it to be oh, further than it is? Of course. Because yeah, when bro. you're at a job for eight to 10 hours that you don't even want to do, you'd give any type of time to go do like a video or something you actually want to do. Yeah. And you make it a point. You're like, oh, I gave, at least we did. I'd be like, I gave eight hours with commute, 10 hours to the day for That's work that I don't want to be there. Yeah. But let me put two hours into a fucking video, if, even if that, you know what yeah. I mean? How are you folks? Hope you're having a phenomenal evening. Listen, fellas, I know the feeling of not being able to give you a full potential in bed. It's a struggle, I know. I've been there, I've experienced it, it sucks. But with Blue Chew, you'll be able to do all the things that you told your girl you do in the sex messages that you sent her. Listen, 
Stop lying to your girl, fellas, and mean what you say with the help from Blue Chew. And I'll tell you what, get your first month free with my code in the description below. Now let's get back to the podcast, baby. I know, and your, and your dad was probably, like, not on board. Was he on board with you guys wanting to do this shit, like, full-time? Yo, so yeah. he was. Yeah, he was, he was yeah, but he was. obviously, like, you know, at the same time, he's being with a father would do, like, here's the secure route, here's the safe route, and do this, hopefully, and then one day, when it makes you enough money or whatever, then you could quit it, but it's like, for us to really get to where we need, really needed to be, it's like, we needed to make that jump, bro, or yeah. it was going to be another five, six months waking up miserable, thinking if, what if, what if I miss this window, miss yeah. this opportunity, but at the same time, a few people, like Lil Mo, he told us this. He's like, yo, if you leave the job, just remember the job gives you a lot of content. Being out there, being in the city, being mm-hmm. around all that shit, it makes you think of a lot of ideas. And it took a long time, about like a month and a half, for us to really start getting those ideas again because we were like adjusting like majorly. It was How crazy, you think bro. think of that? Yeah, that fucking, uh, that's crazy. Because that was the same way. Because it's like when you're working all day, you're just seeing fucking, especially you guys are working like in the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Right Manhattan. So there's yeah. fucking people shitting on the sidewalk every day. My dad <laughs> works is. in the city. He's a diamond center. He's like, yeah. There'll be ladies just walking on the sidewalk, drop a fucking Cleveland right on the <laughs> cement. I'm like, damn, Pop, is anybody picking up? They're like, yeah, eventually they pick it up. But Price. I'm like, that's fucking crazy. But yeah, that does make sense. You see, Gives you're you a basically lot of seeing content all day. Oh, all day, yeah, bro. Oh, it was like things on a daily basis. Like, actually, like one of my videos that did really well on Instagram helped me uh, gain a lot of following was like I went into a deli and I asked for a bacon egg and cheese and it was legitimately like it was a vegan deli he's like no we don't got bacon so I went like on a rant and uh, that rant like so many people from that one video alone knew me from that and it's like wouldn't have had that content if I wasn't working at the job at that time yeah but it's, true. it's fucking it's fucking amazing looking back on it. That's crazy. It's funny, you know, bro. It gives you also ideas for like the the stand up shit that you were doing. Yeah, I mean, bro. How many wait, how many uh how many stand ups have you done? Honestly, I haven't done a stand up show since last year. I, I completely wasn't doing it, but I did like in total eight to ten. Like eight Holy to ten different shows. Bro, I don't know why like that's the one I don't have a big enough set of balls to go on. I don't know why, tough, dude. Fucking tough, let me tell you. I bombed like my fifth, sixth one, but it was like oh, before all my people got there, so it didn't really matter. But I was like talking to, like a, a crowd of Europeans that just weren't understanding my humor. So, yeah. but yeah, you got to get those out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely want to get back into it, but it's fucking like you said, bro, ballsy. I was felt every, before I went on the stage, I needed like a drink every time. I was like, I'm, like shaking, bro, nervous, yeah. like sweating up a fucking. Buff- yeah, that shit. Yeah, stand up is that stand ups never. I never tried it, but stand ups definitely not easy, bro. Definitely, it's like a lot of nerves. And I'm reading you, a book right now on how to fucking do it. Yeah. Just like, oh, yeah? I, I mean, I, I, to hopefully I get some out of it. I mean, Fuck shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's open mics. You could do everything. I had, like, plugs for certain shows and uh, venues. And uh, I was there with a lot of seasoned comics. I was. And it was, like, my fifth, sixth show. But I did okay for the time being. Like, I did all right. Yeah, yeah. Looking back on it. It could have been better. But just grateful for it to happen. You know what I mean? It's just something I try. They Fuck they it. they have a lot. There's a lot in the city that like pop up like where you could just go in and and I had a, I had a, like a year ago someone reached out to me and was like but I'm like ah, I don't know I'm trying to figure shit out. Dude, yeah, when but, you when you want to do one, let us know. We'll pull up. We'll get a little wrecked. Yeah, you know? bring the whole crew in there. You got yeah, shades on though, even if the sun's down. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson never took off the shades. I can't. Wait, how how, how old are you guys? We're 24. 24. We're 24. Yeah. yeah. You guys are older than me. Yeah. How, how old are you? I'm 23. 23? Oh, oh shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. People think I'm like fucking 30. I thought you were like 26, 27. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a lot of wrinkles yeah, from screaming yeah. all the time. So <laughs> I'm, yeah, bro. Like, welcome. I'm getting gray hairs. <laughs> well, who's older though? I got one Go minute. Out to the nutsack quicker. Oh, you got. I got oh, you, one minute. Oh, you ran to the nutsack. Ran. I flew out. I oh, man was ready to. Come I smelled out. sauce. I ran out he there. Sp- he sprinted. But yeah, bro. The fucking. You've been getting the gray hairs, bro. And those are no joke. Those That's are no jokes. Crazy. The gray hairs, bro. So like, what? So I saw. Were you? Were you in a commercial? Oh, uh, the Kia yo, you were in a, you were, you did something with that big fucking oh, Joe, Kia, big Joe, thing. yo, the Kia my thing. brother hates that guy. Joe oh, Cameron. big Joe, really? My, so my, my brother just like, he, he gets like obnoxious with the big dudes, but I, I'm assuming that dude, I saw his podcast with the growing up yeah. Italian podcast and, uh, which I saw you, you guys were on there too. But uh, he's probably like the nicest dude ever. Oh, bro, yeah, Joe, big Joe, like I'm telling you, like in like he could come off, I guess, because he's like this big Italian guy. Yeah. He's the sweetest fucking guy in the world. That's funny. Nicest yeah. guy ever, bro. That's really, it's really, hysterical. really nice guy. Really nice guy. That's but yeah, we insane. did a Kia commercial with him. I saw that. That I was, was like, a, is this doing a fucking commercial now, <laughs> bro. See, that's the thing that you guys do. That's like the hardest thing, but the most beneficial thing ever is collabing. You oh, guys yeah. collab so fucking much. Got it, bro. New eyes, you that's, know. I know. That's like the one, like, dude. You guys are literally. 
I've only done shit with like seeing you guys and Vincent. That's it. Oh, wow. In the three years that I've been fucking doing. Oh, videos. Vinny Giganti. Yeah. Oh, awesome! I was actually we were just talking. To him. He wanted yeah. to actually hear me up. He wanted to go out tonight, but I'm like, I gotta recover for a couple more days. Man. Oh yeah, my man got fucking knocked out by Mike Tyson. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, so you guys do you guys box and shit? Yeah, so we've been training fucking forever, bro. Uh, yeah, jujitsu. Wrestled in high school for a year. Been doing jujitsu for a couple of years. Been like boxing on and off. Never like you know with a. But now we got this like good trainer. But we've always been dabbling in it. You know, it's it's a good way to keep my fucking mental in check. Yeah. You know, like let alone the physical. But uh, yeah, we've been training for a minute, trying to get our purple belts now in jujitsu. Holy. Yeah, oh, we so been... guys would scrap the fuck out of someone if someone tried to. <laughs> yeah, I just you know it's like we learned, bro. Like being humbled by so many people in those gyms, it's like. Violence is never really the answer because you never walk. You even if you get the dub, you can, now you got to charge or yeah. now you're getting arrested. It's just like nothing's worth it, bro. So how how long you guys been doing that for? You guys started uh, at a young age. We've been doing jujitsu now since the pandemic, like 2020. Uh, so we got our blue belts. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the ranks, but we got our yeah, blue belts. I don't even know it either. Okay, so in jujitsu there's five belts. Obviously, white, blue. Uh, purple, brown, black, but like the time between the belts could be uh, six months mm -hmm. or like three years to four years. That it's like got our uh, blue belts within ten months, and now we've been blue belts like two for years, like two almost. almost two years fully now working yeah. towards the purple. But um, we, it's, it's also grind. been with the with the union, bro, and then like getting busy with this. We haven't been training as much, but in the next month or so, we'll get back into it. You know, that's always going to be there, but uh, it's such a good way of life to have, bro. It's it's really oh, good for you. Just mentally. Yeah, mentally, bro. It bro. keeps you at a good level. Like, you feel good. Like, like a workout high or a runner's high, they call it. Like, you feel good leaving the gym. Your mind's clear. You're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, you're you like, know? I do one more. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get it in. It's that cardio, dude. Cardio gets your... My brother went to gym, and I've been going to him to do cardio every, like, Saturday. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, mentally, this shit is like... And, like, I'm, like, so out of shape cardio-wise. Uh -huh. And, like, that shit is just, like... It makes you want to just like fucking do more, bro. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a tough workout. You know, it's definitely a tough workout, especially when you're like first starting, and it's just made discouraging. Like I can't fucking breathe. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. getting beat up like by people when you first start. You're getting beat up by people you never thought would be able to beat you up, and it's like two things could happen. Either your ego takes its head and it's like, ah, fuck, this doesn't really work, yeah. or you're like, fuck it, let me learn how to get kick people's asses after getting my ass kicked. And it's fucking awesome, you bro. You guys ever had to use that to your advantage, like at a bar or something? Uh, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I know you guys get annoyed, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. should get annoying. I mean, yeah, it could. Be. It's like you know, people like. There's you know, always people, somebody bro. trying to like like get aroused or prove something in a sense. For the most part, like 95% of the people we meet are super fucking cool, yeah. you know? But there's always that one asshole. It's always, always that, that one jerk. Ass. You know how it is, one. bro. <laughs> you know how it is. And you got to keep your cool because you don't want it to fucking ruin your image now because somebody's looking for something, you know what I'm saying? Bro, it's crazy. And, but then there's times that just I go home, I'm like, I'm not, I, I don't want to go out. Yeah, bro. It's know, Sometimes bro. they're not worth it, like... You know what I'm saying? It's a fucking pain in the ass. Especially everybody, all the videos, that, and then they, it's like, then they get into the heart to heart. You're a tough guy. It's yeah, so annoying. Annoying. You think you're cool because you do this. It's like, dude, get off my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's always got something to say, but odds are if they're saying something, they're doing nothing with themselves. So it's, yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah people don't realize, threatened. dude, putting yourself on the internet is no fucking, it, it, that shit is not easy. Yeah, bro. You're putting yourself nah, out bro. there for the world to see. And then on top of that, every like day or two, you got to come up with some new shit in your brain to keep the momentum going. That's another thing. Guess what, fellas? We have no tits and we have no fat ass. Oh, That's it's a, a great point. So at a major disadvantage. <laughs> and I hate to say that around your chick. No, no offense. But like, you, I see that shit all I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Like with creators, like not, not even more so me. I just scream like with, with shit that you guys are doing, it takes like more of a game plan and shit, which yeah. is like, fuck that skit shit and that acting shit. Like it's fucking hard. But like, it's crazy how easy some people got it, like on the apps. Bro, oh my God, bro! I it's wish. It's true. It's true. It's crazy. It really is. But I, uh, fucking, I wish, bro. I us wish. not having those <laughs> physical advantages, we got to make up with it with the comedy. You know what yeah. I mean? That, that's what we do our, our best with the comedy. And like, like I can never. We we're probably all on the same page. I can never fall into like the guys who thirst trap and basically sell their soul for like likes. Oh, and, would like, you guys you know? ever want to turn out to the people I make fun of? Oh, um. In the video, I'm saying, like, the people I react to, the kids dancing. Oh, yeah, that bro, was hysterical. I'm waiting for you guys to post something like that so I could react. I, oh, yeah, I, we got to do one, it. Uh, I did one a <laughs> while ago, like a reaction to one, and I was ripping the kids. Bro, <laughs> wait a minute. I saw the one. Wait a minute. You yeah, were, I did? Was it? You were like, uh, oh, my God, what's the kid with the floopy hair? You, he, uh, <laughs> oh, my God, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly the video, bro. The kid yeah. with the earring, and he's always going around kissing. Uh, he kisses girls and shit. Oh, yeah. I know. oh, what the fuck did you say? I, I wrecked him. I just wrecked I see, him. I seen your video the other day of the, uh, the four kids dancing and the bring back bullying shirt. And you're like, I don't even know what to say. Oh, my God. I was fucking crying. Bro, you know what's crazy? All those kids see it. Oh, you have to. Bro, within, like, 
minutes, bro, yeah. which is crazy. But you notice at that point, it's like, I'm sure they're nice guys, but you're putting that like weird shit out there and you think people aren't going to fucking say something Listen, about bro, it? Listen, like, bro, the second it hits the internet, yeah, it's fair game, baby. 100%, bro. That's like you punching me in the face. I'm going to punch you back, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, bro. You put your shit on the internet, oh, I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> I'm on you like flies on shit, baby. Hell yeah. And that's why that's why I'm like, I don't understand. Like, mm. it's like fucking crazy. Like, it's oh, not, bro. Then they get mad about it. It's like, a, if you get mad about me reacting, you shouldn't have posted it. Exactly. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's crazy, bro. It's yeah. crazy. No, but, we live in a time, bro, where people like, either if it's me or you who do the video, we got to hold these people accountable for their fucking actions. Those yeah. are fucking, I could never. I could so never. to backtrack to what I was saying, though. So you see how OnlyFans is popping right now? Mm -hmm. I mean... I mean, fuck, shit, dude. I roasted. I'm, I'm borderline about to be on that shit. Fuck it. Imagine. Oh, wow. I know uh, a kid who's doing mad well off it. Uh, uh, a dude? Yeah, a dude. He's doing, like, really well. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I don't know if we could go to... Well, I don't dude, know if, if, you, if you knew... Hold on. If you knew... Because <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question, and I'm going to ask you another question. Would you guys do it if you knew that you were going to... Like, it's, it Make, would be, like... like good money? Like, yeah. good money? It depends how much. Like, for, Would like, you be willing to ruin your reputation? See, that's, that's the thing. A, we got family question, out bro. there. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't want to go full nutsack on the internet, and yeah, it can never. Nah. Nah, you don't want pops finding that shit. No, nah, he bro. would. Oh. He would be like, "Yeah, if you're doing that shit, I get eighty percent. You keep twenty percent." <laughs> yeah, you shake uh, us down for it. It's fucking. Yeah, now, if you have a again. daughter, uh, that's a that's a good question. No, no. And she decides to go down that road. Oh, like it's like the, it's your torn in between because like you got certain girls making fucking hundreds of grands a month on it, but also like you don't want your fucking daughter being on that shit, bro. That's like it's degrading. But I understand you can make money in a career off it. But in terms of like at least a guy looking at it, your fucking daughter, that's mad degrading. I would be like, fuck that. I don't want my daughter on only just, showing it's, her it's, ass. I feel like it's fuck so that. like if my wife, like if I had a wife and she decided to do it, I'm boot kicking Charlie right in the chin strap. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not bro. dealing with that. But if it's my daughter, I'm like, fuck. I try to sit her down and be like, listen, this is on the internet. It's going to be there for a while. <laughs> it's not really going to go anywhere time soon. And it's going to go from this site to this site to the next site. <laughs> then you're going to be all over Reddit. You're going to be on fucking News 12. Yeah. So oh it's like, God, people don't ends. realize that shit. Once it's there, it's fucking sticking. I'm scared. I'm scared for the future in that aspect. You know, if I have a, if I have a daughter, I don't want to cross that bridge. Dude, it's, it's, and it's cool. <clears throat> There's 17 year old girls now. I know, oh, bro. Oh, man. It's that fucking... are like starting. There's girls right out of high school. Yeah, bro. Fucking hell, bro. Crazy dude. It's just... And, like, I'm always about getting your money, but, like, shit. You know yeah, what I mean? How you getting it? <laughs> try to work for it. It's crazy. See, like, you guys were born into, like, like working. Like, you guys obviously worked a long time, and then you got into this. And it's just, yeah. like, with this generation, it's just, like, people just go right. I mean, you look at TikTok Live. Yeah, bro. Uh -huh. These ASMR motherfuckers going, yeah, Thank yeah. you for the rose. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for the rose. And fucking NPCs. Yo. Dude, I, I don't, bro, I literally, I scroll with anger. Oh, so me too. I get so mad. Bad. I'm so like, how are, how are people donating to this girl hitting a microphone with her fucking fingernails? I'm like, I mean, look, all power to you, but like, damn. And they make, they, they, like, I know one girl that makes like 10 grand a fucking live. That is, which is absurd. Straight. Christ. That is Fucking crazy, tell her to yeah. swing the formula. I'm trying to make 10 grand a fucking live. <laughs> we got to pull the dick out for that one. <laughs> but Put the bulge. Have you guys... Have you guys ever been out to like uh, like LA, the West Coast at nah, all? Nah, bro, we've been meaning to get down there. We've yeah. only I only went to the West Coast once. Other than that, bro, I want to go to California so bad, bro. Yeah, Wait, bro. where'd you go out in the West Coast? I went to uh, Seattle. Oh, uh, oh, dude. Speaking of that, wait. So that I think that's how I first. The wait, Mariner which one shit? Of you? I, that was Nikki. Was you? The, the yeah, Mariner was Nikki. shit. Dude, yeah. you blew the fuck up off that. Yo, that shit was crazy, bro. Like, bro. And guess what? Yo, going back to the point earlier, I would have never made that video if I wasn't at the job fucking pissed off in a concrete hole in the fucking middle of the, of the New York street. I said, fuck bro, it, let me throw this video up. That's crazy that you just put it. Cause I, that's, that, I don't know if that, that, no, that's obviously not how I found you, but that's, that's, that video fucking took off. Yeah, bro. And that shit was like my first taste of like viralness. And that made me be like, yo, I got to take this social media shit serious. Like, this happened from it, and I didn't even really give it uh, that much of an effort. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If I could do this consistently, what are the fucking chances it happens again? Like, a lot. Wait, didn't Barstool post one of you? Or both of you? A few times yeah, Barstool yeah. posted, I think, him with dad, with my dad, Barstool right? posted yeah. us a couple times differently. Like, to me fucking with my pops when I did, like, the, the barber prank. Like, I told him I cut a bold spot. And another one, uh, oh, I, I think it was a separate that. video. But, yeah, a few times. Barstool, they're, they're cool, man. They posted us twice this year mm -hmm. so far. It was on in the Instagram? Uh, on TikTok. On TikTok. On TikTok. I feel like they stopped posting on Instagram as much as they used to, right? I was just going to say that. Yeah, they, they, I, because they, I would not be surprised if they got like mad violent. Because, dude, accounts are getting deleted left and right. Yeah, bro. Like they probably got some copyright shit, too. They probably didn't go through the pro. Who the fuck knows, you know? 
Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, but that shit was my my first time in the uh, West Coast, and it was fucking beautiful in Seattle, bro. They flew him out to Seattle, bro. Yeah, they flew oh. the the Mariners for the fucking playoff game. They flew him out. He was signing T-shirts. Bro, it was nice. We did an event at yeah. this beer hall, like fucking. Cause <laughs> I guess like the content doesn't go like to this extent in the tri-state in Seattle. Fucking five news interviews. I was like, what the hell is going on here, bro? But it was bro. cool as fuck, though. It was mad cool, bro. Definitely a milestone, you know. Isn't it? It's dude, and all it takes is a fucking click of a button, bro. Right, dude. But it's fucking all it takes, dude. And a lot of people have so much fucking talent, in my opinion, and like they're so talented. But a lot of people can't come to terms and put themselves out there for other people to judge. Because ultimately, like you said, you go, you put yourself on the internet. You know, you're putting yourself out there. People could clown your ass, talk shit, and you gotta be able to take it if you want to move forward. How do you? I wanted to ask you that. How do you guys? Because obviously everyone gets it. I mean, I clearly get it every fucking day. How do you guys deal? Do you guys? Is that shit? Like so at hates, first, yeah. I could say at first, we yeah. were definitely didn't deal with it the right way. Like, I would go back at him or DM him, like, and some crazy yeah. shit. But, like, it just could only lead to maybe your account getting taken down or suspended. So it's like, and Nikki was, <laughs> yeah, 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 right? And he was telling me, he's like, bro, like, he would see me go back. He's like, yo, chill out. They could flag your account for that. So now it's like, fuck it. I'll either delete the comment, read it, and be like, eh, it's all right. Because, bro, yeah. think about it, right? These motherfuckers who comment on your shit hate and want a reason because they don't like you already. And then you go back at them, and they're like, oh, now I could possibly report this motherfucker, get his account taken down on everything he worked for because I'm a hater. That's literally the level that some of these yeah. people stoop to, bro. And it's like now at this point, I just ignore it. Fuck it, it's another comment. It boosts my engagement. That's how I look at it. Yeah, but it's like it's like the Italian genes that you just. Oh, wanna, it's so like, annoying. You get like if I get roasted, I'm like, oh, right, bro. You know they'll never do it in person. That's the, that's Ooh, why it comes. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean. Yeah, so, the keyboard warriors. So it's hard to like really accept that, but that that's what they want. That's you gotta what just those send them a heart. Want. Yeah, send yeah, literally, bro. Make them feel like shit for like clowning, and you don't even care. Like brush it off, type shit. That's how I, we deal with it now. And it's so hard though sometimes to take the high road every single time, you know. But you gotta think, bro. Look at everything you built, the followers, everything. It could get taken away from one of those motherfuckers if you go back at them. They will do everything in their power to try to report you and shit. Yeah, you know, that's all. I had, like that. I, dude, I, I had forty-two violations on oh. my first account. Oh my god, damn, oh, bro. <laughs> I'm on my third Instagram account. Really? Jesus. I got canceled three times. That's shit. fucking wild. Bro, I mean, 72 TikTok accounts. No bullshit. Damn. No, no, no. I, I dragged it. I think it was 62. Bro. They were just getting Bro. banned every single day. I was like, how the fuck does it get to that point? 70 different accounts? These Never motherfuckers are great. Accounts, buddy. Ask me how many fucking emails I have. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to know. Bro, but the names of the accounts that I was making yeah. was not making it any better because I would just make them TikTok sucks me dry. <laughs> Suck my dick TikTok five. <laughs> this app blows me. Like, bro, and they, they were just like, and they were banning them every single <laughs> fucking oh day. Oh, my God, bro. Fucking great, That's bro. sick, though, bro. I seen uh, your Instagram now. Is that, what, like, like 700K? Yeah, I just hit 700. Bro, it's fucking huge. Congratulations, you have 80 man. million accounts, so you could still build up a fucking bro. That was God. Awesome. That was God, like, I'm happy you kept making accounts, brother. <laughs> yeah. For real, like, I give you why this the one. fuck do I? I can't say what I want. You can't say shit now, dude. Bro, it's it's so nuts having to be so careful about everything you say because someone could just take it out of fucking context and oh ruin God. everything. It's fuck like it it's honestly up. crazy, bro. It really is crazy. This Everyone's just soft as baby shit. They really are. So you man, call someone time. fat and then that's it. Everyone <laughs> wants to kill you. It's horrible. Bro, like, actually, all right, then fix the problem, bitch. <laughs> like, come on. Address it first. Cut <laughs> down the damn four for four in biggie bags and maybe we could talk about it yeah. in six months. Like. <laughs> Maybe you stop know? sitting next to everybody at the fucking movie theater. <laughs> that would help you. But um, so I want to ask you guys about all the shit. I mean, do you guys see what goes on in like schools nowadays? What they got going on with like fucking? Bro, shit is crazy, bro. Keep litter... the kids out of it. Keep the fucking little kids out of it, bro. What, like, what yeah. are your thoughts with litter boxes in the bathroom? No, Why, what's that's that? a, I come on. You I didn't know about, about that. that? You know about that. No, I don't know about that. Is that for the people who identify? What if a kid cats? comes on and says and says, uh, "JoJo, um, I want to be a cat." What do you uh, say to that motherfucker? I mean, what's the you're not be you're not a cat. You're not you're a fucking person. I'd say meow, bitch. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> but that yo, they put litter boxes in fucking in in bathrooms in school. Oh my god. What the fuck? Like why? Like whatever why? happened to the good old fashioned fucking toilet? <laughs> <laughs> fucking miserable, bro. Oh, my what? God, bro. That's they got to keep crazy. these little kids out of it, bro, because their minds are developing. They don't know what to believe. They don't know what's right or wrong. Like, let the kids grow up before you fucking start you, throwing this shit in their yeah. face. You think a five-year-old knows here, who the fuck he identifies at or who he is? He thinks sand is real. The two, he, they know there's a lot of reality That's from nothing, crazy, bro. bro. They, you know? they say that uh, uh, they're doing a thing now where babies, 
that are born, they're calling them babies. Oh, babies? God. Babies. T-H-E-Y-B's. Oh, no, bro. Where, where the baby gets to, like, wait till it's older to figure out what it wants to be. <sighs> and that's like, damn, that thing could fucking turn into anything. So you call it, like, a they as it grows up for 10 years? You're calling it it's it It's called and a shit? thing or an a it. A thing and it? Like, that's so fucked what up. What if the baby's <laughs> actually got, like, a cock? It's a guy. Yeah, well... Now it used to I, be. I, I, who knows what I am at this point? I have no idea. I know I'm an asshole, but I could be something more than that. <laughs> and who it's knows? crazy too, bro. Like how we have to like hold our tongues when we talk about subjects like that, or just or just like basically like be very careful of what we say. And we're not really saying shit. We're just kind of saying like I might not agree with it 100. percent That doesn't make me a bad person. People don't know what a joke is, dude. That's I know, bro. That's it's why comedy's comedy, ruined. Bro. Comedy's ruined. ruined. The movies are fucking. The comedy movies you can't even make anymore. They don't hit like they did 10 years ago. I know. It's a fucking nightmare. And we're big into movies, so it sucks to see yeah, that. we're big like it's movie like, guys. Can't big, even big, make big a good comedy guys. no more without somebody having something to say. That's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Actually, shit. Bill Burr just dropped a movie on Netflix with... Uh, hysterical. Oh, that, that shit was... That shit, you guys watch that? I, I was watching it. That shit yeah, was Yeah, I mean, you look at people like Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, like crazy motherfuckers like Dice, that. Man, like that bro. dude, like, like he would get... They would be like, dude. Oh, my God. Today, bro. <laughs> Today? Because if you watch... I watched going like from when I was doing stand-up. I studied Mad Dice. I love the Dice Man. And I was like, bro, he was like ruthless in the 80s. Imagine today, but he was he's hysterical. One of the best comics. That's, so that's him. another thing, like, for me for, to do stand up. Like, I just get worried that I'm, because I, I seriously don't know when to shut the fuck up, but I don't know <laughs> what's too much. Yeah, I so feel it's that, like man. you're stepping out of a comfort zone that you shouldn't be going to. So yeah, you're bro. just like fucking, I don't know. Yeah, that's it's, just it's, crazy. it's definitely tough, bro. But Andrew Dice Clay, I think he was like the first comedian to ever sell out MSG, and he did it like back to back to back. That's bro. fucking crazy. He was like larger than life in the 80s and the 90s, like, you know? Dice Man. And he was hysterical, bro. Like, back when people would go to a comedy show just to laugh and not really take everything out of context. Like, that's why you're going there, to fucking laugh. You're not going there to cause a fucking uprising. Like, it's a comedy show, you yeah. know? But certain people, I don't know, man. Yeah, the dice Comedy's man. Comedy's changed, man. I, 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 I think the ruthless content is the most funniest to me. It's it is, bro. It's hysterical, like, bro. That's a comedy supposed to be like that, bro. It's supposed to be like you could joke a fucking about a lot of shit, and it's... Yeah. It's taken with a grain of salt, you know? Yeah. So how do you, so in terms of what you guys posting, like how the fuck, like what do you guys, um, do you guys like plan it out, like schedule shit? Do you guys always do collab? Like how do you guys do it with like posting, like where you schedule that shit? So yeah, recently we've been trying to plan it out more after we came back from filming, but a lot, a lot of times it's like when we think we haven't done something a little bit, because we don't like shit to get played out. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I don't want to just stick to one thing and people are like, oh, this same shit again. Yep. We could do so much. That it's like Mondays we could do like a sports thing. Tuesday we could do like a neighbor's video and just kind of go with the flow type shit. Something with my dad, you know? Kind of never know what we do. It's crazy the amount of fucking ideas you guys come up with though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, bro. Thank you, bro. It's like we're shot. That. Like a shot. We're shot bastards. So yeah. it comes out. I mean, you guys are like, I, I, like I look at you guys as like, like a in, like Instagram couple kind of like That's you guys help great. each other with like you know like same thing with like Vincent and Sam like the collab shit like yeah and now yeah, you got your bro. pops too does your mom ever want to be in videos I never seen so her Does my she mom ever... was actually in one I think one or two videos and one of them she was like talking to my pops this was when like the inflation was bad and they were just talking about it and they were going back and forth and it got like fucking five million Barstool actually posted the, the TikTok were your mom in it my mom and my dad back and forth yeah like. Bro, and that was like the one time she was on camera. So she's a, a hidden star, hidden gem also. We got to get her I told involved. her that when we got back. I'm like, Ma, you want to be in the background? She's like, nah. So hopefully she breaks out of her shell. If she wants to do it, she's, she's, she already got it. She just got to do it. I mean, it. you guys, are, I, I would assume you guys are eventually going to have a fucking TV show. I'm hoping. Yeah, bro. I'm hoping, We want to be like, a, we want to do like a mature version of Drake and Josh. Like, that would, oh, wow. That's like two that, twins, yeah, That's bro. funny. We also write, like, we want to get back into script writing, bro. Like, we like to write our own shit. Weren't you right? Were you... Did, were you writing a movie? I, I read something that you were writing, a, or I saw some of you were on a podcast and that you were writing a movie or Oh, yeah, shit. so, like, well, through the pandemic, bro, I started writing, like, a short film, and then it turned into, like, a, a film, but I haven't worked on it in a minute, you know? But down the line, bro, that's, like, our ultimate goal. We want to act, but we also want to, like, direct and, and write scripts and shit. It's, it's always been, like, so fascinating to us, you know? We've always been movie guys like that. And that's sick, dude. The sky's the limit. Honestly. Yeah, bro. What kind of, what kind of uh, like... Like movie type shit I was yeah, thinking. I kind of wanted to do like a, so I wanted to do a mixture between like, you ever see Dazed and Confused with Matthew McConaughey? It's like the Stoner movie in the 90s. I, I, think, I, don't, I don't know if I've seen it, maybe. Yeah, so it's like, it's a mixture of that. I kind of want to do it with like a Scorsese turn, kind of with like an outsider's vibe. I want to like mix my favorite movies and do one some sick shit. But that's down the line. I still got to write the script, finish it. But yeah. that's a goal for us. We want to get like, 
into that shit, but eventually. Got to you know? keep doing it, bro. Consistency is the hardest thing. It is. A lot of people, bro. They like I, we say all the time. A lot of people could have one or two viral videos, and then like go back and like let it die out. Look back five, ten years from now, and be like, oh, remember that video? Like that one time. Again. It's like, or you could real see it for what it is, and be like, I did it once. I could do it again. I just gotta stay consistent, because like you said, bro, it's the hardest thing to do. And, and especially when you get like when you hit a viral video and it gets like a million views, and then you post again, and the next one gets like ten thousand. Yeah, you're just chasing that high. Like, that dopamine yeah, doesn't come in, nope. and you're like, fuck. What did I do wrong? I thought it was so good. And it's yeah. always the videos that you're like, eh, I don't know if we post it and you just say fuck it, that do the best. Then the, sometimes the ones you plan out. You ever yeah, know, and it's crazy. Sometimes the ones that you think are going to do shit do the best. Like, it's yeah, nuts. literally, you're like, bro. You'll, you'll cram it in five minutes in your car. Just say fuck it, I'll post it, and then it'll do so good. Then you think about something for two days, and you're like, oh, why didn't it hit? Like, it's yeah. crazy, bro. Wait, so have you guys ever experienced, like, get, have you guys ever, like, so how is it with, um, does TikTok ever, like, remove your videos? Yeah, the community guidelines. I had an account warning for a while on Instagram and TikTok. And you ever had an account removed? No, thank God, bro. That shit would fucking blow. I'll knock for you. Yeah, I'm gonna knock. I got I'm you. Knock. That shit fucking yeah. blows. Blows, bro. I can't, you fucking. What did you do it over a hundred times? It seems like bro, between TikTok and Instagram. It was crazy. I, you know what I like? You know what I like to say about TikTok? When TikTok, when TikTok sees an unsucked penis, they're the first ones to suck it. They <laughs> love riding dick. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, I could OD, agree bro. with that, bro. I could agree with that. They're shit. OD. You know what I think they should be doing and they're missing out? They don't have a collab feature on TikTok. Like you collab accounts. Like you could oh, do I didn't even think of that. Yeah, they we were saying that the other day. They just have reposts. Well, repost. that's kind of that, that's kind of new. It's kind of new to Instagram though, no? Yeah. yeah the collab shit? Well, they have a collab up to like fucking six people now. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. That is wild, bro. Like fucking at first it was like the one account and then it was three and then now you could do like up to six or some shit like yeah. that. Do you guys ever go live? Do you guys ever? I know I talked about it before, but do you ever like come live? I've done it a bunch. I used to, I've done it a bunch of times, but I gotta lie. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been. I definitely haven't been consistent enough with the lives, and I get really good engagement when I do it. Yeah. So I gotta get back. I just in don't know. I want to start making bread on live, but I don't really know how to, like to get people to send me flowers or whatever the fuck they send. You got the roses. <laughs> Yo, pull it. Start pulling roses out of your fucking crotch here and be like, here, thank you. Here's for a roses, fucking rose. <laughs> Give me two thousand. Fucking shit's nuts, crazy. bro. You know what you gotta do, bro. If you go on live, what I do is I'll go on live. You just fuck with people. You get the thing, the audience. I mean, do you guys, do you guys have like a website where you have? Like, I saw, I saw you guys have like merch and stuff, right? Yeah. So we had that actually it was made right before we went away to film. I had my boy. He's uh, helping us make the his, the website. He's like a code engineer. My boy Drew. So he's helping us make the website. We're gonna launch it with like a a new merch site, and then we want to start like really running ads and doing the whole nine. Yeah, with the website. we got we got to get onto like the monetization money, all that shit. You know. Dude, the merch is fucking. Gotta do the merch. I yeah, know, bro. You have so many great shirts. I mean, didn't you? Didn't you fucking? Didn't you? Didn't they make the, the Mariners? Se- yeah, yeah, and the Mariners shit. So simply, Seattle made it with me. And in Seattle, they're like the only company who has like a Mitchell and Ness contract. So they just do Mad Sonics gear and Mad Mariners gear. And we sold probably like about like two thousand shirts. Holy fuck! Because like it, all the fans loved it at one point. And I was trying to get to throw out the first pitch there, but the guy wasn't answering me. I was like, I don't oh, want to do it. It would have been so Imagine. legendary. And yo, for the uh, for the playoff game I was at, they, Macklemore was from there, so they did Macklemore. But he didn't. He wasn't even that. Like I'm not gonna shit on Macklemore, but he wasn't even that like energetic. I'm like, yo, if I was on that shit yeah. in the field, bro, I'm yeah. running around like a nut job, bro, yeah, throwing a 60 mile an hour fastball, <laughs> you know. I would have threw that bitch up into the fucking stands to <laughs> the grandma right in her fucking cheek. Bro, the funny thing is it's such a small world. This kid, Matt Festa, went to school five minutes from me. He's a Staten Island native. He was a pitcher. He's still a pitcher on the Mariners right now. He's one of their closers. And when that shit went nuts, he DM'd me. He was, like, showing the whole shit. He's like, this kid's from Staten Island, five minutes away from where I grew up. And now, of course, I make a video for his baseball team in the MLB. It's like, what the Yo, fuck? That, weren't you on fucking News 12? Yeah, it made, like, Yo, news, that news is shit. crazy, bro. Shit was wild, bro. Seattle was cool, but I went, I went by myself. Like, the next time I go, I want to go with mad people. And Damn, you should have, you didn't right. even, what a dick. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring you, I, I would have been um, like, yo, we coming to set it, too. We both came out of the same right, nutsack <laughs> practically at the same time. <laughs> Literally a minute apart. You know, that's it was, crazy. We were in the union, bro. It was hard to get the vacation approved. Thank God. Oh, that's true, too. Some you guys guy, working. Like, yeah, bro. Some guy definitely, he hooked it up for me, but it was made spur to the moment. Like, they told me about it Monday night. I was there Wednesday morning. Like, it was like a day and a half, like, notice. So, yeah. but yeah, bro. Did you guys ever, cool. were you guys, like, when you stopped working, did you ever go through, like, uh, like regret of, like, 
like quitting the job to try to do this. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, there was definitely months. days where we were like, fuck, you know, like, I hope I made the right decision and shit. But like, you're always going to have that. But then you got to look at the positives too. It's like, you get to wake up and do what the fuck you want every day. Yeah. Your income, your shit, you're in charge of. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not getting capped out at a salary for the rest of your life where your value doesn't increase. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, there's been days where I'm yeah, like, fuck, this shit, we have done it. But then you go make fucking whatever you make off a deal and you're like, I could charge 2000 for an hour of my time. I'll never get that over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, true. Yeah, bro. But um, I want to get back to so I, you guys saw that uh, that Logan fight. I want to know oh, yeah. your because I, I know only you guys seen are the Logan Logan and Dylan Danis. What are your thoughts on that? So uh, I do you even, think truly won the fight? Yeah, I saw. I seen. I seen only highlights of it. I didn't watch it full. But apparently Dylan Danis landed like nine significant punches, and he's just not a really great, great boxer. He's a great jujitsu guy. But uh, I gotta rewatch it. But I, I seen one thing of like Logan hitting him a couple of times. But Logan looks like he's on juice or something, bro. He's, he's fucking hundred percent. He's on something. He's jacked he's up, fucking bro. Huge, he's a big bro. guy, man. And he's in the WWE, bro. So he's like some type of specimen athlete. Like. Bro, it's it's he got to his fucking like that dude was in his head. Cr- I mean, he violated yeah, that shit every, was any crazy. possible way that dude could have violated. Bro, bad. Yo, Dylan went OD. Oh like he my wasn't God. playing like, and that was. Just, that's crazy. And it sucks because you would have thought like Logan winning the fight, everybody would be in his DMs like, wow, you won. Like, nah, they were still coming after his ass. Like, ah, Dylan won the war. Like, yeah. He's, my man was Twitter fingers at home just fucking. You, you know what it is? I think Logan Paul, like he's like all credit to him and his brother, but I think like he kind of carries himself sometimes in a corny way. That's why he has haters. But at yeah. the same time, bro, he's like, he's killing it in the WWE. He's doing boxing, like all credit to the fucking guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's definitely doing his thing. He's but. a sick bro. I see. I seen some of his matches in the WWE. Like he gets up, bro. He's like good in the WWE. Yeah, he's, he's a good fucking, wrestler. I've never watched the, the the day that I knew that that was the same thing with like yeah, the day that fake, I knew right? that was fake. Yeah. I was like, bro, he was hitting like Eddie. Yeah. Remember Eddie Guerrero? He was hitting like Eddie Guerrero frog splashes and shit, <laughs> fucking backflips. I'm like, this motherfucker Logan Paul is not playing around, you know? Fucking nuts. I'm tight that Dan because Dennis is a, a professional MMA fighter. He's obviously a jujitsu guy, but for you to come out. After doing all that shit and throw and land 10, 10 shots, like, come on, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I definitely give Logan props. He went in there and he was fucking speed bagging that dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was suits handling he, he, business. He, he, did, you see him, did you see him go on the ground and put his fucking legs Yeah, he up? pulled guard on him. He pulled guard on him in the middle but of the fight. But I think that, but, but, he, was he Dill saying, was oh, he, I think God. he was saying his chick's, his chick's name while he was down there, like impersonating her. <laughs> Oh my yeah, yeah, Dylan God! Pulled guard. Like Nina, he pulled guard. <laughs> that shit's funny, but I would like to see because <laughs> Dylan said that if Logan and him did this, Logan said he would rematch him in MMA. And I, lo- I know Logan has like an amateur wrestling uh, record. I think he wrestled in like high school or college or whatever. But Dylan, Dylan Dennis is jujitsu. He's like a legit black belt, so he might grab a hold of his fucking knee and just crack that shit. So yeah, I would like to see yeah, if they could bad. get a little grappling match in at least, just to like kind of. He went into your world, going into his world, but we'll see. Yeah, but that's like two. That's like. That's going into a crazy world for a different, boxer. Different, bro, yeah. Jiu-jitsu. You know what it is, bro? Everybody could box for two, three months, hit pads, and, like, throw a one-two. Jiu-jitsu, bro, you just can't. I look at it like this. In a fight, anyone can land a lucky punch. On the ground, if you're experienced, you're winning every single well, time. yeah. You know, it it happens experience. time and time again. Yeah. Scrappling, that shit oh, is yeah. fucking... Unless you got a uh, quote-unquote fucking Bradley Martin who could use the earth to destroy you. Yeah, he was fucking 260. <laughs> 260. Bradley seems like a, a decent dude. I don't know, bro. Just the way he carries himself, he's the classic example. Oh, I'm 260. No matter what, it doesn't matter. I like, love that he was like, yo, you think you could fuck me up? Yeah. Like, oh, and then I love this fucking guy. Oh, I love it. I love it. He, that's what he goes. But, but um, yeah, he's, he's a fucking unit. Though, There's a video of him too. doing jujitsu with a brown belt or, uh, or a black belt. They think he was like one of the Gracie from the Gracie gyms. And he's just in the gi and he's just taking Bradley Martin and just tossing him a beating. <laughs> like, it's just like, but, you know, credit to Bradley having that confidence. I wish I met him when I was out in L.A. I met, I met a bunch of the other fucking dudes, like two, the duck guy, two turn Tony. and Oh, oh fire. Yeah, that's fucking good. There's just, it's, it's weird. It's, it's so weird seeing people like on the internet and then seeing them in person because a yeah. lot of these fucking people are just weirdos, dude. I could see that. Especially, I was going to ask you, like in LA, bro, LA. did you get like throw off by all the motherfuckers' oh energies and shit? Oh my God, bro. Yeah, I right? went to that, I went to that, uh, to that Sway house where all those fucking TikTok kids oh were. Oh my God, yeah. Dude, I was like, everyone was just like, Glued to their phone, like fake. nobody it was definitely has any so social fake, skills. Right? Like the conversations were probably so fake. Like, all they talk about is how much money they have. Oh, like, yeah, and I was yeah, still like, working at the time, so I was like, dude, I'm just, I'm hanging out. Literally, I'm here for a few drinks. Like, so what, like, bro? Network. I hate shit like that, bro. Spies that. You yeah. realize, bro, in this like industry that we're in, like 90 percent of the people are really fake fucks. It's like someone like you, you're a genuine person, and so are we. Yeah. So it's good to finally see that in certain people, bro. Like, because you don't see it often anymore. You don't <laughs> see people with personalities. That's not what goes around in fucking today's world. It's nuts. It's not, bro. But it's so true. Who do you, so who do you guys think is like the best, like, 
I mean, you guys have fucking done shit with mad people. I can't even list the amount of people you've done with. But who do you think was like your favorite to like do videos with? Like that you favorite think that collab? You like honestly, I think we both know, right? Yeah. Like I, I, uh, oh, well, yeah. like Jakey. Oh yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, as yeah. of like collab Bro. wise, Jakey. Yeah, Jakey yeah. We've so we've known Jake before like this. Shit. We've known Jake when we were making music because Jake used to make music too. Wait, so you knew him before he was? Well, he was yeah, music yeah, too? yeah. We oh, both. Yeah. I mean, we were, uh, videos. Yeah, bro. Or like, like right before we started. And when we started, right, like we knew each other from this mutual connect was our studio guy, Dom Stacks. And we seen each other at the gym when we both started making videos. We just chopped it up. And now, bro, he's the fuck. Jakey is the funnest person and like the easiest to make a video with. Yeah, I can't wait he's to talk with him. Bro. I think he's oh. fucking hilarious. And I, 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 can, so I always good. consider him. He is definitely the most underrated person in this industry. Jakey is the funnest. He doesn't like, post enough, I don't think, bro. Yeah. 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 No, it's true. Uh, yeah. I think it's a combination of shit. Um... But uh, Jake is fucking bro. It's lo as long as he gets that consistency, he's he's so fucking good. Yeah. Every time, so his, every time good. his post is gold. Like I know every time I'm gonna fucking crack up, and that doesn't happen often, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, he's a star. The union shit that we started doing with each other was fucking great too. That's yeah, Italian union. shit. Did you see the uh, the Leminski videos we did with him? I gotta oh. show you after. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I'll yeah. show you after, but it's like crazy. <laughs> I saw the video of you guys in like the tennis court. Oh he okay. Had your face <laughs> on his belly. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. oh shit. That shit was fucking... Yeah, he's um, great. He's Jake's a really good director. Like, he directs the skits, does this, this, and that, and he does it fucking well, bro. Yeah. He's yeah, he, so fun to work with. He's amazing, bro. So, he, what do you guys... So, like, what what's, like... Do you have anything right now, like, a main goal that you're, like, trying to stick on to, like, push for? Or are you just... You guys are question. just going to continue to just fucking... That's a good question, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, right now, like, we're just trying to, like, relentlessly attack everything yeah. and just be disciplined. Just content every day. Every, yeah. every day, bro, just... And keep bringing our name everything and spreading our name everywhere we don't want to be limited to like one type of content we want to just do everything bro you know what i yeah. mean and spreading it out is just i think we could do so much that i think that's probably the best route but honestly i don't really know what the goal is just to keep fucking killing shit keep you know <laughs> every opportunity bro I, we, I, we say it to each other all the time like no matter the opportunity it's like yes say yes no matter what the fuck it is so yeah. and you guys have been on it's cool that you, you guys been on, on I, I literally just searched up both your names on youtube and you guys been on so many fucking podcasts yeah, we've yeah, been on a awesome, few, bro. Dude. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Like, I always tell myself, even if the fucking podcast has five subscribers, you have no idea who those five subscribers could be. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree, bro. Um, but wait, I saw... So, I need to ask you about fucking DJs. Oh, oh God. my God. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess I, I reached out to... You guys did something with Lil Mo at Headline, At Headline, right? yeah, yeah, so yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Like, what bars were you guys hitting when you guys were down there? Was that your first time at DJs? Nah. Nah, nah we've been there a couple it's years. Been a minute. It's been a minute. It's a fucking DJ's is, is that DJ's. Place fucks me up, bro. It's, just, two it's like a, a shoulder. It's like a vortex. A it's like a vortex when you get in there. The I hate having to wait on that porta potty, potty line. That's yeah. what kills me. Just waiting on the porta potty line. Everybody's ripping me. fifty bags in the porta potty. Yeah. Oh my god! So walk out the dude's fucking cheeks or start doing <laughs> cartwheels. They walk out of the bathroom. They're all fucking twitching and shit. Uh, when I'm down there though, I like to be like outside when I'm drinking. I don't like to be in a sweaty yeah. ass environment. I like to be at Jenks and Bar A, bro. Bar A. Jenks, Jenks is fun, dude. Jenks, Jenks is, is dope. Right. right on the beach, bro. Outside shit and, and places that you could talk. See, we're all we, we love to talk. Yes. We're personality guys. Like when you're in there, it's all weirdos and dudes that are just like you. You don't even know what they look like because it's so fucking know, it's bro. dark as shit. And, and bro, <laughs> you definitely get this too. Like when you're outside of the smoker section and DJ smoking a cigarette, trying to get like a peace of mind, then the heart to hearts start coming of like yep. fans and shit. And not only can you not hear them, you're fucking banged up by a porta potty. And you're like, here comes another heart to heart. Like fuck. That's so insane. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's so I, good. I, I fucking yeah. So I. I I have well the place that I'm at is literally right next to DJ, so I've been living there for like four or five years. So it's oh, like fire, bro. being fucking there on the weekends. It's like if you're not going out, you ain't fucking sleeping, dude. I oh know. yeah, oh it's I know. a circus over there in the summertime. Dude, I, one of them, I um, a new tattoo artist, this guy Billy at Fast Time. He's literally like two blocks away from Bar A. He did all our new ink. So if you ever get into ink, bro, he fucking hooks you up. I want to get a tattoo so bad, but I don't know what the fuck to put on my body. Feel That's a good that. question. Feel that we're bro. not the best to answer that because we've done many, many spontaneous tattoos. Do you regret any of the ones that you guys have? Do you guys uh, maybe like one or two? Maybe yeah. looking back on it, I got like my collarbones. Uh, I don't really. Reg I, I would do some differently. I would get a different style, have a different artist. Yeah. That's what I probably regret. Do you guys go to the same guy? Yeah, yeah now, now. now recently this guy Billy, he did like my whole forearm here. He did his two, three pieces. He here. does like this. This is like see this compared to this. This is like realism, and this is traditional tattoos. The yeah, lines yeah. are darker. It heals better over time. Yeah, it's like so. It's like goes deeper into your skin, so you don't have to get it touched up every like five years. What, 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 what would you be thinking of getting if you had a, any ideas? 
She's got a long dick for my shoulder. I, honestly, I figured that. Get the nut sack right I here, the other ball right here. Get a set of balls. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna get my pronouns. Fuck you right on my neck. <laughs> And then I'm just going to have a beanbag hanging from the shoulder to the fucking wrist. Let it bleed into the hand a little bit. Right too. into the hand. Yeah. You can see the veins in my <laughs> yeah. hands. Man, yeah, it's a veiny cock. Then you got veiny a veiny cock. cock on your own. You get a nuts, like a, a hairy ball, like right in the middle of the forearm, too. That's funny. Yo, I'm going to make my way up to Staten Island, though, bro. Bro, you I got, got it, it, bro. You have, and, bro, you, like, we, we, we literally, like, are straight up about this. When you go to Staten Island, hit us up, come to the How crib. loud? It's, it's how, like, what, what, what's, like, a typical day? Like, I, I, I mean, there's delis fucking Oh, Everywhere, yeah, in bro. Hell yeah, bro. It's literally every corner. Every corner. Every corner. You got to find a good one, though. Yeah. You got to find a good one. And another thing, I think you might get a kick out of our neighbor, like where we live. You ever see our food boss? Yes. He's our. He's been our neighbor for twenty fucking years, Frank. That's what we started doing the TikToks together in the beginning. Wait, wait. He lives next to you? Yeah, he lives across the street from us. Like we live, like literally, we've been neighbors for twenty wait, years. Is this who I'm thinking of? Yeah, food boss. I'll show you him right he now. He makes the crazy spreads. You, yeah, show him. I've seen him. Yeah, probably. But is yeah, he bro. Fat, is he big, big guy? No, nah, nah, you probably seen him though. He was definitely big on TikTok too. Oh wait, fucking! Oh wow, he's got a huge. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I think I've seen him before. Wow, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, so you started with him? Yeah. So my first video, I have a. Oh shit! My first video that I ever did was my actually my dad and Frank. It was the garlic bread video. Them arguing about the garlic bread. Did like eight million. Oh, the garlic bread video. Yeah. That was that was like that was probably one of your biggest ones, right? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. And that was Frank and my pops. So oh, that okay. shit, it was fucking crazy. Yeah, bro, it was fucking That's great. Funny. So I want to ask you guys about what do you? I mean, you guys are you guys are dressed pretty fucking normal. Actually, I like the low dunks. I'm a big low dunk guy. But I'm just, I got I the dip why. sets on. Ever since living in Jersey, bro, I've turned into too much of a fucking Jersey guy. I grew out <laughs> yeah. the hair. I used to get crew cuts and shit. Oof. What are your? It's getting to you. Like, what are your thoughts? Like. You, you see how today's generation with fashion, with yeah. kids wearing nut huggers and shit, like, Oof. like, what do you guys think with like, yeah, pull, go into and it, the, and yeah. the, uh, they, they, the, the kids look like fucking llamas now. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, with the hair, the fucking, oh, bro, they got God. like a fucking nest, a bird's nest on their head. And like they're getting perms. Skin fade. They're getting perms at 17 years old. Who the fuck gets a perm at 17 <laughs> to get the broccoli? Yo, these going. kids look like they have helmets on their head, dude. <laughs> it's brutal. Yo, that fucking is brutal. hilarious. And yeah. Like, yo, and the dangling earring. I need to, uh, what do you oh do? Oh, my God. I, there's, uh, there's not a lot of things I hate. Actually, oh, where there's the, like the dangling cross, cross earring. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, I want they they I say it all the time. They look like chandeliers. Yeah, yeah. they do. It just spells douchebag. Those earrings <laughs> in capital letters. Douchebag. Hey, I'm a doucher. Like, you yeah. ever see SpongeBob when he goes yeah, like yeah. this? Like, douchebag. <laughs> Literally straight up douche. I'm a fucking doucher with my hoop earring with the fucking dangling three foot cross oh on it. Oh my bro. god! I don't know, man. It's like this. Like you said, it's like going back to the, the trending shit of today. The hoop earring, those kids with the broccoli nest and the fade. The brock top, I, baby. Yeah, the brock top. The brock top, baby. I prefer to stay away from it. I know how I dress. I could turn it on. We could get sharp. We could be chill. And your balls are breathing and in my those balls, sweats. I have you know, balls. You don't got nut huggers on. That's all that matters. I have See what I mean? Room. That's Sometimes it. these kids are walking around. They got their nuts in a fucking chokehold. Oh god. Dude, that's crazy. Crazy. Listen, skinny jeans were cool in like 2008. Yeah. But like the way they're back they're when rock- Justin Bieber was rocking. Yeah, them. yeah. We we love the skinny jeans, I, but like I'll now. give you one too. When they do the skinny jeans or they do the dress pants rolled up here, and then they do oh, the no oh, socks. Oh, that's your, you ever been to um Parker House? Yes. yes. Oh, every oh. frat boy ever. <laughs> I hope they see this, dude. Yeah, the people yeah, that yeah. go there, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, it gets me. Like, That's put on bad. some fucking socks. <laughs> like, are you kidding the me? boat shoes with yeah. no socks. My it's man got hot. the dog swinging around. <laughs> unless, you got, unless you're the captain of a fucking 60-foot yacht, don't do the docker <laughs> boat, suit, boat shoes with the no socks. Please. Nah, nothing worse than the jorts. The jorts. The jorts uh, is what does it for me, too. The only person who can still pull off jorts is John Cena. Yeah, it's the only yeah. exception. That's the only and motherfucker. you can't even see him. That's why it's yeah. reasonable for him That's to That's why win. he could rock it. But, uh... Uh, yeah, so, so what, what, like, what would you say, just to like top this off, because I've been fucking rambling, <laughs> what, are you, what are your guys' like, I know I asked you guys your plan and shit for whatever, but um, like, what are you are deciding to go like moving forward on? Like how, like, are you going to, thinking of doing stand-up again? Are you going to, like, are you want to go down Yeah, bro, I mean, that's a great fucking question. We have so much, like, coming right after filming, we were planning everything when we got home. We just want to really set up set up ourselves on the business side, and that's what we've been doing. Yeah. Uh, make sure, you know, the income is what it is so we can take care of everything, not have to stress. But on top of it, make sure the content is still fantastic. Are you guys on the creator fund? I was, you but were, then it was, yeah. honestly, it was fucking with my views. Yep. 
I, t- I, I, I opted bro. out. Yeah, I opted bro. right out. The, oh, don't five, do. six hundred for That's fucking. That's where they get like, you. Yeah, yeah. I opted out. And bro. then they shadow ban your shit so they don't have to fucking pay you. Do not go on the career. I'm happy that you guys picked up on that. Did you hear? Did, tell you. did you hear about the uh, the create? I think Vinny Giganti told me about this. It's like the new TikTok program. It's like the beta program that you get a post that has to be over sixty seconds, and if it if it qualifies for the program, you get basically a dollar fifty every thousand views. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, but you gotta be you gotta be following a, 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 like along the guidelines. Yeah, it has to be yeah. like over minute videos. Yeah, so I don't know if you're gonna. That might pass. not be your cup of tea <laughs> right I <don't> there. Pass. <laughs> I get shit taken down once every fucking once a day at least. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's funny though. But that's my problem. Like I get it taken down. I'm like, all right, I, I don't I don't know how to just like chill out. I feel you. It's also learn. annoying. You're, you're gonna learn, bro. It's annoying sometimes too having easy. to filter yourself for like fucking yeah. apps. You know, so hard. sometimes you want to just fucking just talk your shit because it's funny, bro. Yeah. Certain shit that people don't joke about, like I understand now, like it's not okay, but certain shit is funny too. Yeah. Like, people you know, comedy, not, comedy's supposed to be subjective, subjective at some yeah. point, you know, but. So do you guys have anything that you guys like want to, I mean, I know you got the store coming up from, which you got to let me, you got to let me know when you guys get that running because I'll fucking help you guys shout that oh, out. Oh, fuck you, guys you I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, well, bro. Honestly, bro, I, I fucking, since seeing your videos, I think the three of us, we got to start doing some collab videos. Bro, you guys got to, I've got to get into the skit shit. Yes, yes. Rock out with us. would be fantastic. Bro, bro, I try it, and it's just like, my acting is dick. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I can't figure it out. I don't know why. I, I'm just like, I like just sitting in my car and just being alone and wrote, but I'm like, I got to fuck it. At some point, I got to get out of the car. People think I live in my car. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I have a bed at home. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, but bro, you would do really good with the skits. We got to start writing some shit up together. We'll start writing some, even like, bro. We'll show you how we do it. At least it's not hard. We'll fucking do it so easily. We just write up an yeah. idea. We'll incorporate you in an idea, and we'll fucking make gold happen. It's going to be fucking oh, yeah. easy. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm definitely going to make a trip up to Staten Island and have a couple bacon, egg, and cheese. You got to have boys. the bacon, egg, and cheese, then you got to come over for the sauce. No I have pork my dad roll. Cook. No pork roll. Nah, no, no. Pork roll. Can't do not bad. Can't. Not bad, but I prefer the bacon, egg, and yeah, cheese. 100%. You know what's a life hack, bro? Bacon, egg, and cheese, you do a fried hash brown on it. Oh yeah. Like almost like a hash brown. Yeah. Salt, pepper, ketchup, a little hot sauce, a little butter on the bagel. Oh, I don't do butter on the bagel. It's, a, it's like a heart out. attack waiting to happen, but guess yeah. what? It's fucking the butter. The butter. <laughs> That's type two elements. coming right in. Yeah. yeah. I'll take but, it. Um, all right, folks. Well, it was fun chopping it up with the Scarlata. Scarlata, right? Scarlata. 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 Fun chopping up with the Scarlata boys. JoJo and Nikki here. The Staten Island Italian beast. I mean, these dudes were practically fucking baptized in marinara sauce. <laughs> I mean, they're as Italian as you get. When they got out of the car, the oil and vinegar was just ringing through my ears. I love it, though. Best of luck to you boys, though. Oh, keep bro. striving. Keep pushing the limits. And uh, we're going to see him on TV again in a show soon. Dude, thanks Love for you. having us, bro. Yeah, it's an honor, man. Such a, so blessed, so honored to be here. Yeah. Fucking can't wait to get in the videos with you. We're going to get that acting. We're going to take it to the next level. I promise. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, fellas. This generation sucks as always. Tell your mother they kiss my ass. There you go. Love you. Fair enough.